Hi, I'm Chad with watertrailers.net. We're going to start with our uh, workhorse water trailer. We're going to show you start from the tongue and show you our different hitch options. You got a fully adjustable hitch for different size vehicles. This is a standard two inch ball coupler. You got three different heights. You can also, by removing two bolts, we got a two and five sixteenths ball coupler. If you don't need that, we have a fully 25,000 pound pendle hitch, which will also go on there very easily. Here's our heavy duty safety chains with extra large hooks with locking clevises. This is our standard surge brake unit. You can also choose the, with electric brakes or you can actually have no brakes. That is totally up to you. We give you the option. You got your standard electrical plug, which will fit most any standard size truck. We use a very heavy duty jack. One nice thing is we added the wheel, so it's very easy to move around when you're not hooked to a vehicle. And it does flip up, so it's out of the way. This is our locking storage box. You can store all of your hoses, your tools, anything you would need. It's fully welded to the trailer, so no one can remove it. And you have plenty of storage for your hydrant fill hose, your fire hose, your hydrant wrenches, and any other thing you should need to store in there. Now I'm going to introduce you to all of our plumbing parts and our engine and pump. We use a Honda engine with a low oil shutdown protection. We use a heavy duty contractor grade pump. This is where the water would come out of the tank. This is our suction capability. This is a two, everything is two inch galvanized. There is no uh, plastic. We use brass ball valves to keep them from rusting and very easy to open and close. This would be our suction. You could suck water, draft water out of a pond, a lake, or a pool. Now you could suck water, draft water out of a pond, lake, or a pool. You could kick it out, any of your fire hose discharge here, or you could kick your hose back into the tank and haul the water off. You get a standard inch and a half cam block. This is where you would connect your fire hose. Very easy to use. You just cook your fire hose, no tools necessary. Now you could go out from the trailer and use it for watering purposes, fire control, dust control, or cleaning any equipment. This is a standard three Three quarter inch garden hose outlet. You just simply hook your garden hose and now you have watering capabilities, cleaning abilities or anything else you should need. This is all steel manifold, very easy. Everything is above the trailer, nothing is down below. You simply control your water flow here or you can control the water flow with the idle of your engine. And this is our standard gas engine. We do offer a diesel engine, which is also a very nice option, very quiet. All of these plumbing parts you could find at your local hardware store. So that makes it very convenient. If something shell break, you could find it at your local hardware store. Going back to our two inch rear spray bar, that's for dust control. You can actually kick out water up to 30 feet wide which works very good on large areas or horse arenas or in dusty conditions. This is your ball valve that could control the flow of the rear spray bar if you don't need to go 30 feet or you could control your rear spray with the idle of your engine. The heavy duty two inch hose that feeds the rear spray bar will not corrode in the weather and will last years on end. So this is our large two inch rear spray bar for dust control. This is a standard two inch galvanized cap. You can also have a lot of, you can also go to your local hardware store. You could use a plastic PVC two inch cap. 
You can also take this off and you could come up with a rain bird for watering purposes. There's a lot of different features you could put back here. You can also put an inch and a half cam lock or you can hook a fire hose back here. So you'd have a lot of different options with this rear spray bar. And some of the benefits of going with the plastic cap that you would have so many different options on spray patterns. You could actually drill holes in your two inch cap. You could do different saw cuts. You could angle it out to the corner of the trailer, the side of the trailer for side watering. This is our standard two inch hydrant fill pipe. This is a two and a half inch cam lock. This is PVC, so if you accidentally do leave a hose to it and drive away, this is a breakaway point. Thank you, Chad. And to continue, this is an upgraded workhorse water trailer. It has options on it that uh, um, we've created. Um, a lot of our customers choose certain items that they prefer on their trailer. Um, what we've added to this one, one of the things, is a, is a hose reel. Um, it's plumbed in, it has a, a, a line that feeds through the manifold box and allows you up to 75 feet with larger hose. Um, 75 feet away from the trailer you can spray with the, uh, with the spray nozzle. Pull it out and you can wind it up and you can spray, as I said, this is, uh, this is approximately 50 feet. Uh, as you can see, there's room for much more hose on there. Okay. The standard workhorse water trailer comes with a, if you were to remove the hose reel, you have a flat deck here that gives you ample room for anything that you want to mount on your water trailer. We can do it, you can do it, you can do it when you, at the time of your order, you can do it uh, yourself if you choose. You're, you're given ample room to mount things such as a pressure washer, a generator, just to give you some ideas. Uh, maybe a small light stand, uh, perhaps a, an additional storage box. We do have a good storage box that's lockable here, but perhaps you have larger items that you want to store here. You can do that as well. Now I'm going to introduce you to the tank that we use. This is a 535 gallon. We also make a 1000 gallon. Uh, the material is the same, so uh, what I cover with this will also apply to the 1000 gallon tank. This is 535 gallons. It's uh, a poly tank. It's patchable. It's recyclable. It's very important that uh, if, if, if a, a, a backhoe or a loader or something were to accidentally poke a hole in it, it is, you, you, you can plastic weld it. That's very important. As I said, it is recyclable. It's uh, UV resistant and it does come with warranty against uh, the sun damage. This tank also has baffling. It has dual baffles, front and rear to help stabilize a full load of water or a half a load of water as you're driving down a smooth or a rough road. It will assist in, in controlling the water. We mount the tank to the trailer with a, a dual heavy duty bands, grade eight bolts, and we, we tie it together with a reinforced cross member on the trailer. As you can see underneath there, you can see the heavy duty cross member, you can see the uh, grade 8 bolts and the heavy duty tank bands. And this is one of the things that really makes the workhorse water trailer stand out. I'm going to introduce you the frame of the trailer. Everything is reinforced. It's an all one piece frame, reinforced welds. Everything is very strong on the trailer itself. You could see our fenders. You could replace these if you do get damage. You could buy them at any uh, trailer supply house. You got reinforcements here. You do have a reinforcement here in between the fender. A guy could stand on this fender all he wants. You're not going to cave the fender. You're not going to damage the tr fender at all. We have all recessed lighting. There's no wires anywhere on the outside of the trailer. You got plenty of reflectors. There is lights all the way around the trailer. We use a very nice tail light. Everything is protected. So a guy can stand up here, he's not gonna damage the light. It does have a license plate light underneath. You got more reflectors all the way around the rear of the trailer for added protection at night. This trailer is fully DOT approved. This is the standard surge brake unit. And you can order this trailer with or without brakes 
or you can order it with lights or without lights. That is totally your choice.